Hi, I'm Dr. Aarti, consultant dermatologist, CI Cosmetic Clinic, Bangalore. So dry skin is a condition which we all face irrespective of whatever the climate is. Even from a small baby to an old person, everyone has dry skin at some point of the time. So what actually causes your skin to dry up? So our skin naturally has something called as the natural moisturizing factor which is secreted within the skin which keeps the skin soft and supple. So when this goes off, whether it be because of a climatic change or it can be depending upon the water you use, your daily habits, if you have any like something called as diabetes or if you're taking some drugs, when this natural moisturizing factor is deranged, that's when your skin becomes really dry. So as I told you, there are various causes for dry skin. So the very first being the climate in which you live, a very dry and a cold climate, use a very harsh and hard water, using, you know, frequent taking baths you know which very harsh soap vigorously rubbing your skin every time you try to dry and uh, if you have diabetes thyroid or if you're on some drugs like statins when these cardiac people when they are given drugs like statins to lower their cholesterol it indirectly reduces the lipid content of your skin also and it become more dry various hereditary conditions like ichthyosis atopic dermatitis can also make your skin go very dry so when if you are on treatment on retinoids for acne or if you're going to undergo any procedure like chemical peel or laser resurfacing again you can face this problem of your skin going very dry so it's, there are certain do's and don'ts when it comes to maintaining so all these conditions end up having a very itchy and a dry and a an gray looking skin so there are certain do's and don'ts when it comes to treating a patient with a dry skin so i'll start about with the do's. So always uh, take bath in lukewarm water, never very hot showers and don't stand under a shower for a long time. Let your bath time be very brief and immediately after you take bath, use a towel and gently mop the skin. Don't vigorously rub to remove all the water and the soap you use has to be very mild with a very acidic pH which suits your normal skin and don't go for any harsh soaps or detergents or, or anything for that matter the soaps which comes with scrub you know to wash your skin and uh, always moisturize your skin immediately after you take bath so when there is a little bit of moisture in your skin that's when you need to apply the moisturizer to your entire body so coming to the moisturizers there are various formulations like creams lotions gels and mousse available so you need to choose something which is suited for your skin type and then use and the uh, moisturizers again you need to use a separate moisturizer for your body and your face if you're going to use your body moisturizer for your face you will end up having a lot of pimples because it creates an occlusive uh, effect if you use such strong moisturizers on your face if you don't have a moisturizer even a normal virgin coconut oil which is available in all our houses you can also use that but the important point is to use it immediately after you take bath and you need to repeat it at least twice if you have a very dry skin or once if you have a normal skin especially when the climate is very cold so other general measures like don't sit under an air conditioner or under a heater for a long time which again make your skin go very dry and when you go out in the sun always say to that you wear protective clothing take an umbrella use a sunscreen and go so all these measures will help a long way in preventing dry skin to watch more videos and get more skincare tips please subscribe to dr circle